I picked up one of these brownie pans from Dollar Tree. And I will be using some Waverly chalk paint in the color Crimson to go over this. I did end up doing two coats. So you just want to dry the first coat before going on to the second coat. I just painted the bottom side and the inside of the brownie pan and then just allow everything to completely dry before moving on. I then grabbed this spatula also from Dollar Tree. And all I did was grab some of this jute string. I just tied it at the top and then added some hot glue at the top of the handle. And then I just began wrapping it around the handle of the spatula. And as I kept wrapping it around, every now and then I would just add a little dab of hot glue just to make sure that that jute string stays in place. And just kept adding the jute string until that handle was completely covered and for that final piece of string i just held it down with some hot glue and then just cut off any of that excess so now i'm using this dollar tree adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue i'm just placing both of the glues on the top part of the spatula and then grabbing that brownie pan and just holding that right on top of the spatula and then just allow that to completely dry for about 30 minutes. I then grabbed these mason jar lids from Dollar Tree. They came in a two pack and I said, oh my gosh, this would be perfect for the wheels. So first I started with Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and I just painted the middle section of the mason jar lids with this color. I did end up doing two coats. You just wanna allow that to completely dry. Once that's dry, now I'm using Waverly chalk paint in the color ink, and I'm just going along the outer edge of the lid along with the sides of the lid with this color, and then just allow everything to completely dry. And once those were dry, I then grabbed these 20 millimeter half wooden beads off of Amazon. I did just end up painting them with that same Waverly chalk paint in the color crimson. And I am just putting these on a piece of tape and these actually held the beads on there really well while I was painting them so they weren't moving around on me. This only required one coat and then you just wanna allow that to dry. And then I just started hot gluing those in the middle of those mason jar lids. And now you got yourself some cute little wheels. I then grabbed these 12 inch wooden dowels also from Dollar Tree, I'm just measuring out the width of the brownie pan. Once I figured out the size to what I wanted the dowels to be at, I just cut those down and just sanded off the edges. And then I'm using Waverly chalk paint in the color ink and I'm just painting those with one coat and then just allow everything to dry. Once that was dry, now I'm just hot gluing the wheels to both sides of the dowels. And then you want to have a set of two of these. Once those were complete, then I'm just gonna grab that brownie pan with the spatula. I'm just gonna find a good placement for my wheels, placing some of that famous Dollar Tree adhesive glue down with a mixture of hot glue. And I just started to place those wheels right down. And you could always add a little bit more hot glue if needed. And then you just want to allow the glues to completely dry. And that usually takes about 30 minutes or so. And just look at how stinking cute this came out. This next part is completely optional. I like to make my stuff look a little rustic and weathered. So I am just using some Waverly Antique Wax. Uh, just doing a dry brush method all throughout the uh, brownie pan along with the wheels. This also will seal and protect that chalk paint as well as giving it that nice weathered look. And if you go a little too heavy on the antique wax, just use some paper towels and just wipe it right off. And there you go, guys. That is the final step 
Look at how awesome this came out. I love that you could interchange this in between seasons and holidays. So definitely decorate this however you would like. I hope this inspires you all to create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.